Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to present you a completely new system, which is coming with RPG Builder version 1.0.3, which is called Weapon Template. And this basically allows you to design your game in a completely different way when it comes to the class system. Personally, my, per my personal favorite RPGs are actually classless RPGs. Um, I still really love um, a nice, you know, nicely designed game with a nice class identity. So, for example, when you have warriors, mages, and so on. But some of my favorite games actually don't use predefined classes. Instead, they have, you know, a bunch of different weapon type, and each of those weapons have their own levels, abilities, and so on. And as you use them, you progress with them, right? And this is what weapon templates allows you to do. So here, as you can see, for example, we have just two templates I was, you know, kind of experimenting with. Here we have the axes and the sword. So of course you have an icon, um, a name and so on, which is going to be presented in the UI. And then here we have as a first field a level template. So level templates are what is currently used for classes, skills, and so on. And now you know weapon templates just works the exact same way as before. You can choose the maximum amount of levels, so the base experience for the level one, how much percentage you know it should go by level. You can then just click generate and it's going to generate all those levels and the values for you. So you can assign this level template to your weapon template, and that's what's going to be used for the experience and levels. Now, when it comes to the weapon list, I made it possible to have more than one weapon type within one weapon template. It's not only, for example, 200 axes or 100 axes. So for example, you could have axes here, and here in the weapon list, you could have 100 axes and 200 axes. In this case, uh, in the current demo, we only have axes, but um, you can create those um, weapon type in the editor anyway. If you go to here, items and weapon types here. So you can create any um, type you want. Now, um, very, very cool. I wanted those weapon templates to pretty much have all the features, if not more than um, classes. Because as I said, it's possible to use this without using any class system at all in the game now. And um, so just like classes, races, skills, and actually NPCs, they can have their own stats uh, override. So for example, it's not really override actually, but it's more like an addition. So for example, let's say the axis uh, could give you one uh, lifesteal, 1% 1 lifesteal for each level of the Axis weapon template, right? So if you're um, Axis level 1, then you have 1% 1 lifesteal, level 2, 2% and so on. Or you could have, you know, strength, health, whatever. And now you could go to the sword and you could make it um, armor, giving it armor pierce every level, right? And you could also add a, a base value. So if you wanted, for example, swords to add like 50, um to your character initially then that's totally fine so let's go back to the axis here as you can see they can also have their own talent trees not only one you can add as many as you want and uh, talent trees are going to work exactly the same way as they would with classes skills and things like that spell books also so they can have their own spell books and they can also have their own starting items so like i said just like classes if we go to general classes here you see they have stats, talent tree, spell book, and uh, starting items. So all of this is back there. Now, um, let's go back to the weapon template here. So once you're done with this and uh, you created your weapon template, etc., you can now attach them to races because, of course, races are still used in the game. You can still define, you know, um, for different uh, models, uh, different one also for male and female. And here you see that there is a um, class list, just like before, this didn't change, but now there is also a weapon template list. Remember that you can use both at the same time. You could still have a class system with, on top of that, weapon templates, totally possible. In this video, I'm not using classes anymore, just to show you that it's fully possible in RPG Builder not to use them anymore. But here you see that the human has um, axes and sword weapon templates. And that's it. So now, just want to show you quickly in the editor, in settings combat, you now have a um, using classes uh, toggle. So if this is off, it's not going to present any information about classes in your game anymore. So it's never going to be presented to your player and stuff like that. It's also not going to be required in the logic. So like your character save file is not going to have any information about the class or whatever. And when you go here, create a new character, you see that it's not showing the class list anymore because it's not using classes. 
So uh, let's create a new character. Okay, and here you see that um, when you open your character panel, it's not having the uh, talent trees thing here because this was for classes. Instead, um, we now have this, uh, of course, this is a placeholder button and the UI also, but we now have a, a new UI panel, which is for weapon templates. So here you see that we have the Axis weapon template and the sword one, which are both attached to a race, and they, own, they, they each have their own level, current experience and here they have talent trees so as you can see here we can access the berserker talent tree and uh, to the sword the warlock one is attached of course it doesn't really make sense but um it was just for testing now um just like anything else in the um, in the game or in an rpg builder you can easily um, play around with that with the uh, developer panel so i added a weapon template experience field here so let's add myself for example 100 to axes and now you see that um, axes are level 8 of out of 25 with 15 xp out of 31 weapon template is still this i mean the talent tree is still the same but you see that some of those nodes are now um rank one and this is because um like i said Weapon templates can have their own spellbook. And here we have two spellbooks. So this one is for the sword, this one for the axe. And as you can see, the abilities were properly learned when the weapon template XP went up. So we can now use those abilities, slot them to the bar, etc. Something else which is cool is that I added um, weapon templates, uh, experience, and things like that to all requirements and things like this, which I'm going to show you in a bit. But a quick example would be let's open the menu here um so now for example you can have items which have um which give you for example uh weapon template experience so when i'm going to right click this axe you can see here we are actually gaining 25 experience here so that's pretty cool just like you know items can give you um uh, like skill experience and things like that now when it comes to in game i'm going to show you a few of the new uh like requirement and things like this that you can now use so for example for three points here you see that we have a talent point um, in the three point module and here we have a bunch of gain requirements so before for example the class level up so every time the warrior sorcerer or cultist class gains one level we gain one point and now you see that we have a new option weapon template level up and here means that every time the weapon um the um axe weapon template gains one level we now get one point and uh, when it comes to the talent trees for example here we could require um, now weapon template level for these um, nodes in the talent tree to be unlocked right so that's it now when it comes to bonuses it's the same um, bonuses can have requirements weapon template level and um also task so there is a new task type for example here this is used for quest mostly now and now you could have a task which is about reaching a, a specific weapon template so here you could have axes level 25 for example and then you're going to be able to complete this quest and talking about quests we can also now add a weapon template level to be able to accept this quest and we can also um, reward weapon template experience through quest so here for example uh completing this quest will give you automatically 25 uh sword experience and it also works with rewards that you can pick so you could decide for example to decide to get either um 50 sword xp or 50 axe xp for example as a choice when completing the quest so yeah that's it uh that's pretty much all i wanted to show for this video very very useful for people wanting to um design their game with a classless system and i'm personally going to be using it for my own game and it's going to be a lot of fun so thank you for watching and see you in the next video